What's up people? It's me Paul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while guys since I have uploaded here on YouTube. Reason behind that is because I was so busy. I mean as you can see on my shirt, I am now enrolled at Belty International University. If you want to know more about Belty International University and what are the courses they offer, especially aviation, just comment in the comment section below. Okay, and I would like to take this opportunity as well to thank you guys because our how to become an airline pilot in the Philippines and easier ways to get their video is now reaching 9.4 thousand views and still counting. Wow, and also the answering the frequently asked questions about Phil Scott reaching nearly 5,000 views also. And we have 511 subscribers. Wow, thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for that. And because of that, we're gonna answer your comments and your questions na nilagay ninyo dun sa mga videos na yon. I would like to also to shout out my viewers out there. This video is for you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first, from Nico Isla, 2748. Kuya Paul, I just graduated college and I'm interested in becoming an airline pilot. I have a question and a clarification. In an estimate, how many years will it take to become a commercial pilot, excluding the four years of undergraduate degree? Number two, based on sinabi mo sa video, so roughly kailangan ng around 8 to 9 million pesos. Let's first answer the first question. An estimation, it actually depends on how often you fly. Because remember, we are trying to obtain the 200 flying hours for us to get the commercial pilot license, right? So, kapag nagka-fly ka everyday, for example, mas madali mong ma magigain yung 200 flying hours. So, that's around 1 to 2 years matatapos ka na as long as you have the money. Yun lang yung condition doon. So, kapag wala kang masyadong budget, hindi ka masyado madalas lumilipad, mas matatagalan yung pagtatraining mo until you get the commercial pilot license. Are you getting that? Alright, so number 2. Uh, roughly, kailangan ng around 8 to 9 million pesos. Uh, actually, 8 to 9 million pesos is a good digit na in order for you to get a commercial pilot license or if you want until 80 p.m. Yeah, preparing nearly 10 million pesos. Uh, that's reality. Alright, next, sabi ni Popper uh, Diosera, 75.55. Solid yung beat, sir. Mga gusto ko tanong na sagot mo. Mahal pala, di kaya. First, uh, I would like to say you're welcome po. And I'm so glad that I've answered the uh, questions na gusto ninyong itanong. And regarding dun sa hindi naman kaya, actually it's kaya po. Hindi lang po kayo yung walang pera dito. Actually ako po. No, I'm just bold of my dream na kaya naman kahit mahal. Kasi I still believe. So, the moment that I started not to believe, that's game over. But if I'm still believing, I know I can make it until the end. So, I hope you have also the, the same mindset. Okay, po? Alright, next po. From Yuri, via Paul, ano po ba most common na Airbus ginagamit sa Philippines? If you're asking Yuri, there's no specific Airbus na ginagamit sa Philippines. So, it depends on the airline na pumapasok sa Pilipinas. But if you're asking Philippine Airlines, uh, usually they have Airbus A321 to A350. They don't have A380. Yeah, but they have Boeing 747. Uh, the common they're using, I think, is Airbus A321. But there's no such thing as a common na ginagamit sa Pilipinas. But if you're asking domestically flight, ang pera na sa mga Airbus A320 family. And I want to give you a trivia also. Why airlines are most likely to use the smaller aircraft than A380 such this? Because mas kumikita sila sa maliliit na mga aircraft. Bakit? Kasi mas napupuno yung mga maliliit na aircraft kaysa sa mga malalaking aircraft kagaya ng A380. And we know that it is a business. Kumakain ng mas maraming fuel yung mga bigger planes sa hindi rin sila napupuno. So they don't give much profit to the airline. Kaya mas gusto ng mga airline yung mas mga maliliit na aircraft na lang. Kasi napupuno sila, tapos less consumption of fuel as well. Okay? So I hope you get that. Okay, from at your only later on, sabi niya, kapag po CPL po, meron na po bang sahod 
po yun. If you are a CPL holder or commercial pilot license holder, that doesn't mean na may sahod ka na. Kailangan mo pa rin mag-apply sa mga airline. Okay? Kapag ka nakapag-apply ka na sa airline, tinanggap ka nila, na-reach mo yung flying hours na requirement nila, then dun ka magkakasahod. Okay po? Okay po ba tayo dun? From Mr. Uh, J. Moto Vlogs. Sabi po niya, 5 years from now, I will be PPL. I want it and will do to make it happen. Yes! I am supporting you on that po. I'm rooting on you. Kaya po natin yan. Next po from uh, J. Bayaw. Sabi po niya, how about taking a tourism course? Pwede po ba yun, sir? Yes, any course will do po, as I said. So, tourism, it's aligned to the aviation industry. It's a good thing. It's a good course also. You can have that. Next, from user DW6N. Sabi po niya, Kuya Paul, gusto ko po maging pilot. Salamat po sa pagbibigay ng alam sa amin kung paano maging pilot kung walang 4 to 5 million pesos. You're very much welcome po. I mean, that's the purpose of this video, why we're doing this. Uh, I hope every one of us uh, help each other, even on the little things that they can do na. Kahit dun sa mga pinakamalilit na bagay na kaya nila. Let's help one another in order for us to reach the sky. Okay? So that's the culture, that's, that's the family that I want to build here on our channel. Ayos po ba yun? Ayos! Next po, from... Nande3370 sabi niya, Kuya Paul need po ba yung course ko po is BS80? Not necessarily po whatever course will do po. From Rolf2561 grabe ang gwa po <laughs> salamat po. From RJ Castro. Kuya pwede po ba mag enroll sa flight school at age 16? Sana po masagot. Tagal ko na po kasi nagre-research about that and hindi ko mahanap ang specific answer. Uh, the answer for that is yes you can enroll at any flight school as early as 16 years old po. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is issuing a student pilot license already to the 16 years old. Opo. Next, from Neil Antoja, 47. Hello, would there be any problems if you are a working student when you apply at a flight school? I'm planning to enroll and find myself alone. Thank you. If you're asking if there's any problem, being a working student and also a student pilot, I think there will be a problem on that when it comes to time management and also uh, the exhaustion of your physical body. I mean, you're a student and then you're a worker and then you're also a student pilot. It's hard to, for me, uh, it's hard to do it at the same time because it will cost you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to do it. Actually, that's, that was my plan. That's why I enrolled ako sa Laminar Aviation during that time. But I just found that hindi ko pala kaya. I want to study in Filska and at the same time I'm flying at Laminar uh, every weekends. Pero hindi kinaya kaya focus mo na sa studies. Okay. The study now, pay later, limited lang po ba yung pwede mag-study? Sabi ni Rob2561. Yes! I mean, Cebu Pacific, if they just want 100 cadets or participants, yun lang po yung limited. Wala po tayong magagawa doon. It's up on the airline. It's up on the company po na magbibigay ng study na pay later program. Next po, from Kyla May Anduhar. Sabi niya, hello po. Ask po lang po if pwede po ipagsabay yung pag-aaral ng 4 years degree habang to training ground for pilot. Actually, yes, pwede. If you have time and if you can manage your time and if you have money to do it in college and in flight training. So, pwede naman yun. Wala namang problema yun. Para katapos muna ng college, pwede pasok ka na agad sa, ano, sa, sa airline. Mag-apply ka na. At pwede naman yun. Uh, sabi naman ulit ni Popper Diosera, paano po kung nag-study na pay later pero bumabagsak? Uh, we need to invest learning talaga more here intellectually talaga because that's aviation industry. We are we are after the safety of the people. So, it has something to do with intelligence also and excellence. Next from Draculos Shai Berlion, sabi na, need ba ng degree para maging airline pilot? O pwede na dumaretso sa flight training? Para maging airline pilot sa Pilipinas po, kailangan ng bachelor's degree. Pero sa ibang bansa, 
hindi po kailangan. Basta meron ka flying hours, pwede. Kung tinatanong nyo po, pwede nang pumasok sa, fl sa flight school kahit wala pang bachelor's degree, pwede. Nagigets nyo po ba? Next! Anong company po nagbibigay ng scholarship sa flight school? Sa Go Pacific, Philippine Airlines, cadetpilot.io. Okay? Next, from Luigi Lemay. Sabi niya, pwede po ba mag-enroll for pilot ang galing sa H SHS ABL Strand? Yes, I came from you, Strand, and I want to become pilot. So, yes, pwede po. From MKM, sabi niya, Kuya, ask ko lang po, balak ko sana mag-apply sa Phil's Kamin Campus for BSAT. Kapag matapos ko iba yung BSAT course, makapagtrabaho na po ba agad ako sa mga airlines? Well, if you have the specific flying hours na nire-require ni airline. For example, ang gusto ni airline to hire as first officer, meron siyang 700 flying hours. But you have only 500 flying hours. So definitely, you cannot be in the airline path unless you have 700 flying hours or more. Are you getting that? So, kapag hindi mo pa nare-reach yung requirement nila, still build your flying hours. Okay? Ang sabi naman po ni Mike Charlie Lima, sabi niya hindi talaga biro ang maging piloto. Need talaga ng millions. Yes, reality speaking. Yes, actually. That's the reality. We need millions of pesos in order for us to become a pilot. But being a pilot is actually priceless. When you get there, alam niyo, so umpisa lang yung mahirap po. As far as I'm concerned, that's what I'm seeing from now on. Even though I'm not a pilot yet. So umpisa lang mahirap. But once we get there, that will be rewarding for us. It will not be a work though. Para lang siyang nagmamasyal ka pero binabayaran ka. Ganun lang siya. But the first, we need to work on the first step. We need to step forward first. From at heart, Garcia, sabi niya, Nakaka-inspire ka naman, sir. Ang lilaw ng paliwanag mo. God bless sa'yo, future pilot. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Ingat palagi, pangarap ito ng anak ko, praying mo to pat. At, at dumating din na parang kagaya mo na positive na palagi. Wow! First, thank you so much po. And I'm also praying for your for your son po na maging pilot as well. And I hope we'll see each other on board. And I hope makapagtrabaho po kami both. Yeah, and stay positive. That's important. That's important. I mean, when you are in the cockpit and will you will experience discrepancy, you cannot think negative, right? We need to become positive palagi. And from Bogart, 3229, kudos to you po. Thank you so much. That's it for today's video, guys. And if you want to know about Belfi International University, where I am currently enrolled, and just comment on the comment section below, and we will create a content regarding that. Okay, now I'll show you some pictures of my Belty International University exposure. Alright, that's it. I hope you learned from this video and you enjoyed this. Okay, if you have any more suggestions or questions, just drop them. And we will try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm so sorry guys, I'm so sorry. I'm ah, sorry kung may nangalipaw na akong Anyway, that's it. And see you on the next video. Bye-bye.